Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today I'm going to do a quick video and I'm going to use the Deco Art Media Crackle Paste. Now, I've not used a crackle paste before. I use texture paste. I've used molding paste, modeling paste, what have you. Um, I've made my own as well. I got, I've got. i given you guys the recipes. Uh, it's on my website. But this is crackle paste, and I'm very excited because I did this before a few minutes ago so it could have time to dry. And I want you to really look. It looks like it's kind of like textured and smeared, but that is crackle, people. Delicious crackle. And what I did was... I used my stencil over here um, and just put it on with a little uh, plastic plastic art knife. And um, what I did was then turn my stencil over on this side to get off the rest of that uh, product. Um, so I'm curious to see if it has crackles over here because I really can't see because it's obviously the same color as the paper. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do on here. The crackles are delicious. I thought I would try the uh, Deco Art Media Shimmer Mister in yellow. I thought with the black it would look cool. And I want to see how well these sprays, which are permanent by the way, which I'm in love with, um, cover with the black and react. Now you can see that's all shimmer under there. So you really want to shake it well and I like to go like this. I don't know if it does anything, but it makes me feel fancy when I do it. And you give it the shakes. Okay. And take my lid off. I've not sprayed this yet, so let's do over here first. And look at that bright yellow. Now I'm going to do that before I do this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm going to make sure it's dry. I don't want any water to dilute the color, which you can if you want, but I'm just going to kind of spread it. And you can see this dries very fast. This is not a spray that stays long, uh, stays wet long. Now I can't see any of the crackle underneath that one, but I didn't expect a lot of crackle because it was just the, you know, wipe off. This is where we're really going to see. And this is also shimmer. So I'm going to have to hold it up. I can see the shimmer. Um, I don't know if you guys can yet or not, but I will hold it up and you'll be able to see. So I'm going to just squirt like that. And okay. I want to get this all covered. Now with this texture paste, you can mix it with uh, your Deco Art Fluid Acrylics, which I'm sure you could probably... I don't think there's a recipe, so I don't think you really have to worry about how much you put in, you know, just so you have the color, so you can make that any color you want it to be, which is great. All right, so I'm just kind of doing that first, and then I'm going to hold that up to you. It looks like, um, oh, it looks so cool. And remember, this is our cardboard piece that we did. Uh, it's just a pasta box that I used black paint on, um that I had left over to gesso it. And you can see how beautiful it looks. So look at that. Look at that crackle. Now let's see if I just spray straight on the black. And I'm not going to do it on this one. I'm going to do it on this one. Whoops, little, okay. And see what the color comes up like. Okay, you can see that yellow. Now it's not, obviously it's not bright yellow because it's on black, but it does show up as color. Look at that. And this is so, it dries so fast, it's surprising. I love it, because when you're a mixed media artist and you're using paint, you don't want everything to sit uh, and not dry, especially when you don't have your heat gun next to you plugged in, <laughs> as I don't. I really gotta do that. All right. Okay, so here we are with these. Now let me see if I can show you the how shiny. Can you see that shine? Look, let's see if I can really get, there you go. No, that side's not going to do it. That's because the light's over here. Yeah. Let me do a little pile more spray. Give you a nice bright color. Really hard to show on camera, but it is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You just get this nice shimmer, this nice little shine. All right, so 
can't really show it that well. So I'm not, I don't know. I wish I could. I wish I could. I'm going to find a different way to uh, see if I can show you guys. Okay. So you see, now all I did was put the white on there, the texture paste, uh, the, no, not even the texture paste. What the heck did I use? I used the crackle paste. Hello, the crackle paste. Um, and I still have this great texture that's sh shining out and uh, it's really not affecting the background much, which is great. Um, now, something I would do next is I would take probably white tissue paper or um, I don't think of it. Let me see if I have any around because I'd like to show you white tissue paper. Cal, where would you be? Hmm. I don't see any. I know I have some. I have some purple here. Let's use purple. Here's my watercolors, by the way, that I've been looking for for six weeks. Okay. I wanted to use white because you could really see this, but let's use, let's use purple. Now I'm not going to use glue, but definitely that's what the goal is, but I'm not, I just want to show you how this, look at this. So imagine any color that you would put down and look at that coming through how pretty it dolls it down. If you use white, it would be a little bit, um, more translucent. Now you can use your white school glue with, mix it with water. Maybe I'll do that now just to show you guys. I don't have my Mod Podge sitting here, my, deca my decoupage rather. So let's just do this. I'm just going to use a little bit of my white school glue, but you can use your whatever kind of glue that you like. And just, you want it watered down. You don't want it too thick. And let that dry and you have great, great background started. So I just wanted to show you that the uh, crackle paste, how wonderful it is. Like I said, it really came out gorgeous. Imagine the stuff that you could do with this. And it looks like it's still wet, but it's not. It's all those delicious crackles. Think about, oh, just the textures you can get using it on uh, wood beads and, um, oh, wood, wood, all kinds of stuff. The, the wood uh, containers that you have, the lids, the wood boxes. I couldn't think of the word. The wood boxes and all those kinds of things. The stuff, oh, I'm going to do a video on that next. So I love that. So this is just a little tip, a little something I wanted to show you. I'm very excited about that. And I hope you guys um, try these. They are fantastic. Uh, I, I just, I, I'm having a blast playing with all of them. I, I just am really am. So let me know what you guys think. And let me know if your experience with this texture paste and uh, the crackle paste and the gesso from this, and as well as the dimensional effects. If you've used any, let me know some of the projects that you guys have done. So as always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.